It was hard to live in the moment in 2022. There was always someplace else you could be, someone else you could be with. I read the script and it was really just, it was everything you want a sitcom to be and everything you want to read off a page. You're like, oh, I get this. I get this character. I get this dynamic. I get these relationships and this, this group of friends. Like it just, it was really exciting for me. And I've read so many bad things that when you read a good one, you're like, oh, wait, this is an option for me? We wanted to honor the show, which is so beloved and we are fans of, but we also wanted to tell a story that felt really timely and of the moment in terms of what it's like to be out there and searching for love in 2022. It's been, I believe, eight years since the original went off the air. So it felt like there's an opportunity here to sort of look at this chapter in a new way. In a lot of ways, it's actually very similar to what we do on This Is Us with these kind of like little puzzles about the everyday events of life. So we're big fans of that kind of storytelling and that's something we're absolutely gonna be bringing into How I Met Your Father. There was a lot of discussions about who it was going to be and a lot of like names thrown around. And when she came up, I was like, oh, that would be cool. She is, she's, she's so elegant and she seems so settled. Like when you talk, I feel like Sophie is the more like, haven't figured it out, haven't figured it out. And then you see her and you're like, she did, she figured it out. It's just soothing and it's nice.